If there's anything that has actually caught my fancy, making me excited all through this Yuletide, it actually started from about uh, 48 hours ago when that video of uh, former heads of state and of course, uh, and even the interim head of government then, Enes Shoniko, and Nigeria's vice president uh, gave us a special rendition of Isaac Watts' hymn there. But uh, we'll be letting you in on that in our other, you know, broadcasts of programs. Welcome to Politics Today. It's the second day of January 2017 because it's a Monday. Sometimes it does taste like the 1st of January. Welcome to the program. And uh, we have uh, a whole lot to look at today in uh, so short a time. Let's see what we can do. And... Uh, Pretty uh, play catch up now on expectations for 2017. We have uh, uh, two ladies who will be joining us from our Abuja studios. Initially, I had thought it was going to be an all ladies affair until we had uh, another gentleman here in our uh, Lego studios. Uh, joining us from our Abuja studios is Fatima Zara Omar, who is a legal practitioner, as well as Buki Shonibare. Uh, she is a strategic team member of the Bring Back Our Girls. Uh, and that's in our Abuja studios. And right here in Lagos, this uh, uh, is uh, Tafik Ghani. Uh, he's uh, the public relations officer of uh, publicity secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Lagos State. Uh, we'll go back to Abuja where we're starting off, uh, looking at expectations uh, for 2017. And I know that uh, we're looking at what has happened within the Nigerian Armed Forces, uh, talking about the fall of Sambisa and, uh, some, uh, and, and the rescue of some of the Chibo girls, as well as some that were released to us, to us now, the government and the people of Nigeria, will be looking at what uh, remains of the others uh, in uh, this year, 2017. I'd like to start off with you, uh, uh, Shoni Barry. Let's look at uh, what uh, your group has been going through in terms of the plight of these young people and their families and even the internally dispersed persons. Many would want to see uh, a renewed, uh, you know, rescue operation for the girls, as well as uh, some form of uh, uh, amenities for the dispersed persons in parts of the country. What have you been able to find out, and uh, what are your expectations for 2017? Thank you very much, and um, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I think if we look at 2016 and um, look at the, the, what happened in 2016 in terms of um, the realities that we now um, have to face in terms of what has happened, both negative and positive, um, definitely we've had to record the fact that um, Boko Haram has been largely decimated. Um, there's been several rescue of um, abductees, including 23 of our Chiba girls. And then we've seen that um, Ground Zero was, already, was also taken, and several realities. Those realities actually are both positive and negative. Um, negatives in terms of the fact that there are still millions of people who are still in displacement. There are still Nigerians who are still under abduction, who we don't even have a correct figure for. And we look at both um, realities, however, when we want to talk about expectations, one, an expectation um, for me would be that there should be rescue of all of the remaining Chiba girls and all other abductees. When the 23 girls were brought back in 2016, one of the promises that was yet to be fulfilled as at the end of 2016 is the fact that there was a negotiation for like 83 other girls to be brought back. We've not seen that. I'm hoping that that would happen. And if possibly, we have all of those girls come back. Another expectation would be that of better care for the internally displaced persons. We've been romancing this issue for so long. It is, we shouldn't still be saying that this is a new situation for us. If we've been grappling with it for over seven years. So right now, we should have better strategic forward-looking care for IDPs. It is not sustainable for, for us to keep feeding them on a daily basis. What's our plan to make sure that they are reintegrated back to the communities that are being liberated? How about our military? What's our plan for better motivation? We should never see that kind of video where our military are having to beg for water, for food, for ammunition. I don't expect to see that in 2017. I also expect also that there should be rescue of 
all other abductees, other than the Chibo girls. So in terms of expectation, I think that we should look at what happened in 2016, the downfalls, the shortfalls, what we didn't achieve that we hope to achieve, and bring it into 2017 and create it as a plan. With that, we'll be able to have a clear, specific, measurable strategy in place that will help us see how we are progressing at different phases in 2017. Well, uh, a good a place for you to start off, and I was hoping that 2017 definitely will look at promises yet unfulfilled, as you highlighted. Uh, for Fatma Zara Ibrahim, um, Umar, you are a lawyer and uh, someone who's been following the political uh, developments in the country. Let's look at uh, how 2016 went, looking at uh, that relationship between the National Assembly and the executive. Uh, uh, there must be something you hope to see in 2017, more so now that the budget is uh, before the national, before the Senate. Yes, of course, I would like to see a smoother relationship between the executive and the legislature coming in uh, 2017, especially as regards uh, uh, bills and uh, laws that will affect our people. I'm very keen to see that um, the allegations raised by certain members will be addressed and investigated, and hopefully those who have been found uh, wanting will be prosecuted. I will also focus, uh, I would also like to see that uh, the, the, the war in court between the executive and the legislature is uh, put to rest and they can work together for, for, for better governance. You know, talking about that relationship, uh, you also raised an important issue here. It has to do with allegations raised against some members of uh, the president's uh, team. And uh, you say you'd love uh, them to see an end or an investigation into all of that. As it stands now, before we got into this new year, the president has already asked uh, the attorney general of the federation to look into such matters. Uh, who else do you think that the party can also look into this, knowing for all that the party's uh, mantra or stand on the fight against corruption must not be tainted? Absolutely. I believe the party should also take these allegations seriously. And uh, beyond telling the Attorney General to investigate these allegations, I would also like to see a conclusion to the investigations. I would like to see people prosecuted if they have been found uh, guilty. I would also like to see that people... Uh, I would like to generally see more accountability from this government in 2017. If there are allegations against high-ranking uh, members of this government, I would like to see those investigations concluded logically. And um, speaking also of uh, prosecutions, I would also like to see the Attorney General conclude some of these cases that have been lingering on for a year. I think it's uh, unfortunate uh, coming from a government that has been talking about rule of law, rule of law, I would like to see them uh, face their cases in court and finish these cases so that we can have convictions and move on as a country.